Hey guys, welcome back to the spring break no one asked for that's probably gonna last all summer. So I'm sure at this point most of you are familiar with my wife Amanda, who appears on this channel from time to time. I'm an adult. Every time she shows up, I get comments like, please put Amanda in more videos. Give your channel to Amanda. Wait, I thought she died in Afghanistan. And let me just say, I hear you. Everybody out there who wants more Amanda in their life, I totally understand, and today is your lucky day because Amanda and I are in quarantine. So normally I work from home, obviously. I sit on this chair all day long. I've never left this chair, but five days a week, Amanda goes somewhere, I assume to a job. She's never told me she just leaves for eight hours a day. But now because of things beyond our control, she is not going to work and she is here in a chair just like me. And now that I have a lot of free time, I can do my favorite thing, play Neopets. And there's a lot to do on Neopets. So I've heard. You may think that there's not a lot to do. I do think that. But there is. Okay. <laughs> Gambling, betting. There's a whole stock exchange, right? You can kind oh, yeah, of like- yeah, stock. There's a stock market. There's a whole economy. I was wrong. That <laughs> does sound like fun. Amanda's been playing Neopets her whole life and I have never really played Neopets. I played RuneScape growing up. Those are our two things where I explain RuneScape to her, it goes right over her head. She explains Neopets to me, it goes in one ear and out the same ear, because uh, it doesn't, does it, it does it does U-turn <laughs> back out the same ear. It doesn't matter how many times she explains how it works, I always forget, and it's not because I'm not listening, but it is because I'm not listening. And RuneScape, I couldn't tell you one thing about it. Um, tell me one thing about it. Um... Oh, she's really trying. So for today's video, here's the game plan. First, I want her to explain to me and to you guys what Neopets is, how it works, why she still plays it, why it's a great thing whoa, to do whoa, whoa, to get your mind off things. Um, but we also are gonna try some other quarantine activities. Uh, we're gonna revisit some of the life hacks that we tried in our last video together. And who knows, maybe we'll get our dumbass cat involved because she seems to want to be <laughs> in this video. So first thing you gotta do is type in Neopets. I've had my account since December 30th, 2003. So you were nine when you started. Nine when and how I old are you? You now? 25. <laughs> and you still love it? Yes. When you first log in in the morning to Neopets, what's the first thing you do? Okay, so the first thing I do is I go to another website called Jelly Neo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're already getting off of Neopets to start. So what I do every day is there's your dailies. Check my stocks. Um, and stocks are up right now, you said? Uh, some of them are. I've invested 1 million Neo points wow. and I've made 77,000 Neo points. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to why things are the way they are. Another really fun thing that I still don't know how to do it. Um, there's gambling, so food club. So you bet on these pirates, I guess. I don't know how it works. I just copy somebody's. I've won like 10 million Neo points. Damn, it feels good to be a gang. So the goal of Neopets is just to acquire as many Neo points as possible. Well, see, that's the magic of it. You make your own goal. You can do whatever you want. If you want to make as many nail points as you want, you can make them. If you want to have the best pets, you can do that. If you want to collect the most things, you can do that. If you want to play the most games, you can have any goal you want. Uh, you mentioned games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Show me some of the games. Because <laughs> I've seen over your shoulder you play some of these, and I got to say, they're pretty riveting. So this is my favorite game. It's called Fashion Fever. It's really fun. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yay! Send my score. <laughs> You're right. This is fun. So when you play a game, you can send your score three times. And what that means is that when you send the score, you get the Neo points. I'd say like a million Neo points is like, it's a lot. I was very poor and a dumb kid. You can zap your pet. You can change their gender. You can change their species. You can the Neopets. There's 55 Neopets to choose from. You can battle your pets. It's like, I can do this with my eyes closed. Do it with your eyes closed. Oh, wow, you weren't kidding. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> they opened up the NC Mall, which is the Neo Cash Mall. So this is real money. I have spent real money on Neopets before. I mean, there's contests you can do. You can send a Neo greeting. That's pretty cool, right? Croc Island, Mystery Island. Maracqua, Meridale, Brightvale, Fairyland. Your 
pets can also have pet pets. And your pet pets can have pet pet pets. And then there's the Neo boards where you can talk to people. There's news every week. A slorg wriggles by. They got slot machines. You can just kind of sit here and play some slots. So, I mean, this has just everything you could want in a game. Yeah, there's just, there's so much to do. That's awesome. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I think I'm ready to take uh, my pop quiz. Okay, so from what I understand, Neopets is a game. For kids. For kids, okay. See that, now I understand. Okay, so maybe we changed our clothes and waited two days to film this part. So last time we were sitting in this table, in this spot, we were reacting to some of the internet's most helpful uh, relationship life hacks. But there was one really important one uh, that I actually saw and was the reason I wanted to make that video. And then when we went to record it, I totally forgot about it. You forgot it. about it. So they're eating like french fries, I guess. But the problem is... He won't share with her? Which like, if your boyfriend won't even share a snack with you, I think you have deeper yeah, problems. <laughs> Let's see what she goes and does in the kitchen while her boyfriend's just on the couch like, Babe? Babe, you coming back? At least this one doesn't have any hot glue. Yeah, that's why I specifically chose this one. Uh, actually, the one that comes after this is basically the same thing, but with a spoon but you just make a spoon out of hot glue. I'm uh, we're not doing, <laughs> not that. doing that. My burn turned into a scar. It took like two weeks to heal. I don't even remember where mine was. So. Yeah, yours wasn't that bad. Sorry to belittle your problems, but mine was way worse. It was like almost down to my bone, and now I'm gonna have this scar for the rest of my life. So at this point, I'm like, okay, you're gonna make a bowl out of tape, fine. Wait, what, you're ironing it? You're not using a hot glue gun, so you have to use something hot yeah. anyways. Yeah, life hacks it's aren't not... life hacks if you don't have the potential to burn yourself while making it. Oh, and it looks great. I switched bowls because I didn't want to ruin my good bowl. She uses that for popcorn uh, every day. That's not an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the ingredients for this one are Bowl, tape, cling wrap, which has been just collecting dust in our pantry. We don't really use this. We're really bonding again. <laughs> Can we settle this? Cling wrap, saran wrap, this shit sucks. All right, there's a reason this was collecting dust. It doesn't stick, it doesn't work. It never does what it's supposed to do. Well, the bowl's too tall. And the bowl's too tall, uh, which is the saran wrap's fault. We're not even to the hard part yet. It's gonna be the best bowl this ever. This is gonna be a really good bowl. Okay. And that took way longer than it should have. Um, well, I wouldn't say it looks good, but I will say that it does look like we put saran wrap on a bowl. So that's where we're supposed to be at. Hey, honey. How does iron work? You plug it in. Oh, okay. This ASMR. Is this ASMR, guys? Is this ASMR? Oh. Ah, it's on. <laughs> oh, it's working now. <laughs> it wasn't like burning hot, it just scared me. Me too. When I thought you were in trouble, I almost jumped in front of the table to protect you. What am I supposed to do? It doesn't say how long or how hot or why. Or why. <laughs> Wait, why am I doing this? Why are we heating it up? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure Shouldn't I understand. Shouldn't it already be? It's tape. It's tape. You don't need to activate tape by heating it up. Unless, there's, unless they know something I don't know. This looks good. Um, it seems like it will work good, but the ultimate test is going to be the popcorn test. Mm. So now the ultimate test, first pour some in regular boring bowl. Boo. No one likes you. So do we do like a taste comparison test? Yeah. Wait, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going <laughs> to guess which bowl I'm pulling it from. Okay. The correct answer is tape bowl. Um, oh yeah. Um, regular bowl. No, but that's good. That means that you, that the average blind consumer can't tell the difference between smart bowl and silly bowl. I mean, if you have a lot of saran wrap and 
tape lying around and an iron and you don't burn yourself, then I think this might, this might work. <laughs> This will make movie night a little bit easier. <laughs> Ow, the hell? Well, I'm stuffed. Uh, what do you say we head back upstairs? <sighs> oh man, that was fun. So, so fun. fun. That was awesome. So now that you've told me all about Neopets and I was listening, of course, and I remember everything you said, um, I'm gonna do the same for you. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about RuneScape and I'm also gonna tell the people at home all about my favorite childhood game. Are you gonna say something? Is RuneScape? RuneScape? Is RuneScape. <laughs> so there's two versions of RuneScape. There's RuneScape 3, which is the new one that looks great, but no one plays. And then there's old school RuneScape, which people still play, even though it looks like shit. <laughs> uh, but you don't have to do the random events. You can skip them. And... Wait, Amanda? Babe? Oh, there you are. Babe, did you change your clothes? Yeah, I wanted to get comfy. So Bim Bim and I have a lot in common, actually. Uh, we both sleep like 20 hours a day. We both get extremely self-conscious when anybody is looking at us. And we both get random bouts of energy late at night. Uh, like we could both be tired all day, but then 10 p.m. rolls around and we're running around like crazy. More so her than me. I'm not literally running around, scratching up the carpet. That's her thing. So I think the dilemma for cat owners is you want to play with your cat, but sometimes it's not as straightforward as it is like with a dog. Like a dog, you, you throw anything and they're, they're going to go put it in their mouth and bring it back to you. Uh, but with a cat, especially one like Bim Bim, we can tell she wants to play, but uh, it took us a really long time to figure out how. So it took us a couple years, but we finally figured out um, how to play with her in a way that she seems to enjoy. And I think it's really leveled up our relationship. I feel so much closer to her now that I can bond with her in this way. Plus who knows, if shit really hits the fan, then you're probably gonna want your cat to be trained to hunt food for you. So that's ultimately the goal. I think the general rule with cats is if you buy a toy for them, they're not gonna play with it. You buy a scratching post, they're not gonna scratch it. But if you give them something that isn't meant for them, they will love it. We bought this for her to sit on and she sits under she it. She sleeps under it. Sometimes it's a bit more of a workout for me than it is for her. Now, I think because uh, it's her normal dinner time right now, she sees this as a sort of standoff, like we're negotiating. She already put forth her limit of how much effort she would put into getting dinner. And ultimately she's gonna win the negotiation because I am gonna feed her now. Oh, now you wanna play? We both get extremely self-conscious. self-conscious. So this pretty much completes the triangle. When you're trying to get her to play, all she wants to do is sleep. When you're trying to get her to sleep, because we're asleep, all she wants to do is eat. And when you're trying to get her to eat, all she wants to do is play. <laughs> so what the hell? <laughs> also, Amanda's allergic to Bim Bim, and we still keep her. Everybody's gotta make sacrifices around here, except for Bim Bim. She sacrifices nothing. <laughs> Everything is handed to her. Uh, she's got the easiest and best life in the world, so. Hey, let's go back to the desk. Well, I think that's uh, pretty much everything we needed to do. Uh, I guess this is your channel now? Mm -hmm. So now that you have a YouTube channel, what's the first thing you're gonna do? Um, welcome back to WatchMojo.com. Today we're gonna be talking about the top 10 butterflies. For this video, we're gonna be excluding uh, caterpillars because those are known as future butterflies and cocoons because that's when they're not a caterpillar or a butterfly. So we're just talking about butterflies only. You get, you're gonna do top 10 lists? Yeah, that's what I always wanted. Well, you can't do like a Watch Mojo thing because 
Watch Mojo already does that. Well, then I don't want to do it then. So this is still my channel? Yeah, I guess. Nice. Well, sorry for taking you guys on a little bit of an emotional roller coaster there. I thought that this was going to be her big break, but um, can't do Watch Mojo. <laughs> well, I guess since this is still my channel, I can't make you do the brand deal for me. So I'll be right back. So things are kind of weird right now, and a lot of us have a bunch of free time we didn't ask for and are looking to fill it up with movies and TV shows. But sometimes a thing you wanted to watch that you thought was on Netflix isn't on Netflix, even though it definitely used to be and you could have sworn it still was. But get this, with a VPN, you can trick your internet into thinking that you're in a different country, thereby unlocking the content that may only be available there. Pretty neat, huh? ExpressVPN is my choice for a VPN because they have servers in 94 countries and they have consistent consistently faster speeds than any other VPN provider that I've tried. I use ExpressVPN literally all the time, whether I'm using a, a public Wi-Fi and I'm trying to keep my data secure, or just to watch basketball games that my phone tells me I can't watch because they're in-market games, so I'm supposed to have cable. What am I, an adult? Also, please come back, sports. I miss you so much. Keep your data secure. When you browse the web, ExpressVPN will mask your IP address and encrypt your online data, making it so hackers can't even get close enough to know what it smells like. Better luck next time, hackers. To find out how you can get three months free of ExpressVPN, click the link in the description. That's expressvpn.com slash Drew. Take back your internet privacy today. Sponsored by ExpressVPN, obviously. Thanks so much for being here today, and we'll see you again tomorrow with the same video. Bye!